Hello friends and welcome to this video. In this video I am going to explain you how to use the calculator to obtain the values of linear equation which best fits the given data. So let's consider the numerical. Using the method of less square we need to fit the curve of type y is equal to x plus b for this given data and as well as we have to calculate the value of y at x is equal to 6. So for this numerical first we are going to write the straight line equation that is y is equal to x plus b. So for this equation we are having two unknowns a and b. So here a is nothing but the slope and b is the y intercept. So to obtain these two unknowns we are writing the two normal equations using the least square criteria. To obtain these values summation x, summation y, summation xy and summation x square using these given values we are preparing first table which containing all these columns. So we are preparing the table having columns as x values, y values, x square and xy values. Then we are obtaining the summation of these values. So we will get these summations and these summation values we are going to put in the given normal equation. So our normal equation becomes and then we are solving this equation to obtain the value of a and b. So you may use Kramer's rules or Gauss elimination method or Gauss Seidel method to get the solution. And by solving we will be get the value of a is equal to minus 15.4696 and b is equal to 217.9043. Now we need to put the values of a and b in the given equation that is y is equal to x plus b. So the best fit of the curve we are obtained as y is equal to minus 15.4696 into x plus 217.9043. And now also we require to obtain the value of y at x is equal to 6. So in this equation we are going to put the value of x as a 6 then we are obtaining the value of y as a 125.80. So to get these values if you use the normal calculator you may require 5 to 10 minutes but I am going to explain you how to use the calculator effectively to get these values within the few seconds. So let's open the calculator first. Initially before using the calculator always clear its modes. To clear the modes you need to click on shift then clear button. So it is assigned to number key 9. So pressing 9 and then we are going to clear all these modes. So press 3 then press equal to and then press AC button. So the mode is get clear. For using this least square criteria we are going to click on this mode option. Then this statistics is assigned to number 3. So we have to press 3 number key. Then there are various types of the equations are given. So as per your equation you need to use that key. So our equation is y is equal to ax plus b that is a straight line equation. So it is assigned to key number 2 that is a plus bx. So this is the straight line equation only the variables are interchange. And if you are having the different types of equation then you can choose the key numbers accordingly. For these problems we are going to choose the key number 2 for straight line fit. So press 2 number key. Then here you can able to insert the x values and y values. So for our case there are 1, 2, 3 and 4 values. So we are having 4 number of data points. In calculator maximum values you can put as a 40. Okay. So up to 40 number of data points you can able to put the values. So first value x is 3. So press 3 equal to then second value is 7 equal to third 9 equal to and last value is 10 equal to. So these values are assigned. Now to enter the y values go to the right hand side. So press this button and go upward. Again starting with 1. So first value is 168. So press 168 equal to then 120 equal to then 72 equal to and 63. So in this way you can able to define the x and y values. So when you define all the x and y values then press this AC button. So these values will be get saved. Now 
we are interested in to get all these values that is summation x summation y summation x square and summation x into y so for this purpose click on shift button and one number key then to get the summation values the sum is assigned to key number 3 so press third key now first we are going to obtain the summation x so summation x is assigned to key number 2 so press 2 and equal to so you will be get the summation x as a 29 so easily you can able to calculate the summation x values same fashion again to get all other values again press shift again 1 again for sum press 3 and now we require the summation y summation y is assigned to 4 number key so press 4 equal to so you will be get the value as a 423 now next we need to obtain the summation x square so again press shift 1 then again third number key and summation x square is assigned to key number 1 press key number 1 equal to will be get 239 then same fashion summation of x y so again press shift 1 then 3 and summation x y is assigned to 5 so press 5 and equal to so you will be get 2622 so this value we have obtained very easily using the calculator now to calculate the a and b value also you can use the calculator very easily so for that purpose again press shift then 1 and then the regression is assigned to key number 5 so press key number 5 then here a and b is assigned to key number 1 and 2 so in calculator the coefficient of x is b and the single variable that is y intercept is denoted as a variable a so in calculator whatever the value will be get for a is actually our b value and whatever the value of b we get in calculator it is our actual a value so we are going to obtain the value of b using key number 2 so when we press key number 2 and equal to we will be get the value of our a that is minus 15.46 so this value we can obtain easily and same fashion to obtain the value of b again press shift 1 then regression key is for 5 and then a is assigned to 1 so press 1 and equal to so 217.9043 so the a value in calculator is nothing but our b value so using this value you can easily able to write this equation of base fit now to obtain the value of y at x is equal to 6 again you can easily use the calculator so first press the ac key then press 6 which is the given value of x then to obtain the value of y press shift then first number key again regression for 5 and as we have to obtain the value of y so we need to obtain this y cap so press 5 number key so you can see here on your calculator 6 y cap and when you press equal to sign you will be get the value of y at x is equal to 6 which is 125.086 so this value is again same as we have calculated so in this way you can able to use the calculator to get all the summation values a values b values and any value of y at a given value of x very easily within the few seconds for the different types of these equations you can use this calculator very easily to get the solutions so i hope you enjoy this video and you can able to solve any type of numerical using this thank you for watching have a nice day